Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. I wanted to go ahead and come on here really quickly and sort of do an updated haul video for you. Um, another installment of a haul out of Vera. And um, I recently I recently made some purchases on the recent outlet uh, online outlet sale. And so I wanted to kind of show you um, some of the different things that I picked up. Um, especially if you were curious about any of that or how the online outlet sale works, what you can find. Um, I did make three orders. No, I made four orders, and um, so they each shipped at different times, and so I do have another order that I'm still waiting on, but I thought I'd do that in a part two, and so um, this will be like the first part of um, this month's online outlet sale. So um, stay tuned. I hope you'll enjoy this, and um, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first order I placed around July 22nd. Um, and that took, um, it was processed within a few days, and so uh, by the time I got it shipped, I can't really remember exactly when it shipped, but it was, oh, I think it was Friday. It was Friday, this past Friday. So that, all in all, was about um, seven days. Yeah, seven days, so about, it, roughly a week. Um, sometimes I know it can take a little bit longer than a week for people to get their things, um, but so far I haven't had any issues with shipping or getting any notifications um, in regards to like when my order is coming to me, if that makes sense. I know sometimes um, people will have issues where they don't get any updates. Um, for me, I think that's only happened once, but eventually I always still end up getting my packet. Um, there are other issues where um, people will place an order for a certain pattern or, a, you know, like a certain style and a certain pattern and um, they'll find out that the order was canceled, which is like just so unfortunate. Sometimes you can actually get a cancellation notification if um, they ended up running out of a certain thing and then you purchased it and they'll just sort of let you know like, hey, um, we don't have any of this, any, we don't have, we don't have this anymore. So that is also, that tends to, ha well, that can happen. It almost, I wouldn't say it tends to happen, but it does happen sometimes. So, um, which that's unfortunate, but, the nice thing about the outlet sales is that they do happen every four to six weeks and um, you can always just, you know, check out each month um, what they've got there. Uh, if you sign up for their, you know, if they're for their phone and email notifications, um, they'll notify you when the outlet sales open. So as soon as it's open and you get notified, you can go ahead and, you know, start your Vera shopping. So I always think that's, um, that's fun. And each outlet sale, I'm always like, I don't, I'm not gonna make a purchase. I'm not gonna make a purchase, but then sometimes the prices are really really good um, For like signature pieces and even like outlet pieces um, And you can get like up to 70 80 percent off on certain things. So I think that's really really cool So without further ado, let's just go ahead and go get into it. So I ordered the large blush and brush case in Indiana blossoms and um, Indiana blooms wasn't really something that I was drawn to but I liked Indiana blossoms um, and I was especially curious about this particular, um, like the reactive material, um, cause I only have like maybe a zip ID or something in the reactive material. So I thought I'd, um, try this out. And then I was also really intrigued by the, um, by the interior of this. And so I thought that this was really, really pretty. And, um, and I also have a lot of makeup. So this was something that I really wanted to try out the, um, the only unfortunate thing though is um, there is an issue with like the actual stitching at the top here. I don't know if you can if you can see that, but um, if I turn the bag around, you can actually see like where um, it it is not really stitched properly, and um, it's it doesn't look great. So so when you actually get to this part here. Um, yeah, it looks, it, it, it's just very obviously just messed up, but that's, that's not a big deal. I think this was super cheap. I almost want to say it was like $6. It was $6 and 30 cents. So I had just reached out to customer service and let them know what the issue was. And they were, um, they just asked me to send them a couple of photos, which I did. And then, um, pretty much was able to get a replacement. Uh, you can either do a refund or you can do a replacement. And I just did the, the, the replacement because I really, I do like the interior of this a lot um, and so you've got this um, great section here so let me just go ahead and walk you through this but it's called the blush and brush because basically you have a section for all of your brushes associated with like you, you know uh, powder products so like blush bronzer face powder um, whatever you'd like and then 
Um, you've got like a little flap here that just sort of, um, you know, covers the brushes. And then you have um, this section here, this zip section here, which you can put like your powder products. Um, and then on the other side, so you could probably, what I would, what I'm going to use this for is I'm probably going to put like sponges um, and like accessory sort of uh, like makeup accessory things in here, maybe some tools um, because they have this section here, which I think is better for like keeping all of your, like um, you can keep all of your face products in here. So like any type of compact, you know, powder product, blush, bra like bronzers, um, face powders and things like that. So um, I do have other things I want to show you, but um, so I won't go super in depth. But yeah, so that is the um, large, blush and brush case in Indiana Blossoms. The next thing that I have is the, um, let's see, the Iconic Ultimate Jewelry Organizer in Butterfly Flutter. Um, and this one I was actually really, really curious about because I don't um, have anything in Butterfly Flutter. It's a retired pattern and I believe this was a breast cancer awareness. It does have that, um, that pink breast cancer awareness tag from Vera Bradley. And it is called the hanging organizer because you can you actually have this hanger and you can just hang this in your closet. So that's kind of nice. And then the pattern is just so pretty. It's so vibrant. It's got butterflies on it. And um, I got this because I didn't have anything for like jewelry organization. And so I'll just sort of show you. But when I open this up, uh, you've got that interior lining in that butterfly. I don't. I, I think it's dots of some sort, but I'm not exactly sure um, exactly what the interior pattern is called. But I have, you can see how there's clear, there's clear um, sections here and they're zippered. So um, you can literally like, you know, unzip that and then you've got each section there for like each of your little, you know, jewelry pieces. Um, and I'm using this for like earrings, rings, you know, maybe some necklaces that I want to be able to see. And then you also have this flap down here, this plastic, um, this plastic clear flap down here. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, and that would be for anything else that you want to put down here. And then here you have like this pleather strap that runs like all the way across. Um, and that is has holes in it and you can use that for earrings so that's what I have used you know I've got a couple of earrings in here and then you have these clips that you can also store like maybe some bracelets you can you know stack some bracelets there and you'd be good to go and then you also have these elastic um, sections here and you can also put like other jewelry items or whatever have you in there all in all, this was a really, really handy item, and um, I'm already just stuck this in my closet, and I just absolutely love it. Um, I had to, you know, pull out a pair of earrings, and this, super easy to find, um, you know, my pair that I needed, and then I'm able to store it back safely, and so, yeah, so I'm really excited about that one, um, and that is the, so that is the, Iconic Ultimate Jewelry Organizer in Butterfly Flutter that was 16 around $16. Um, that's like the front, or I'm sorry, that's the, yeah, this is the front and then this is the back of that. And the pattern is just so pretty. I really, really like this. Okay, so the last thing that I bought in that order was the Glenna in Kingston Gardens. Um, I did end up placing an order right after that for another <laughs> Glenna in Kingston Gardens just because the price was, it was so good for um, Glenna's are usually $90, um, especially for a signature pattern, and that was for $25.20. So one of them I ended up giving away, and then the other one I actually, someone else missed out on um, missed out on it, unfortunately, and she really, really wanted it. Um, so I just sold it to her because I knew I was getting a small beer tote in one of my other orders. So I knew my small beer tote was coming, so I was just like, that's what I really, really want, and I know you really want the Glenna, so that's fine. Okay, so in my next order, um, so my next order actually was um, a few pieces, but a lot of them were smaller pieces. And so the first thing that I have was 
the Cloud Vine Tote, which um, popped up in the last, I think the last few um, online outlet sales. And this is one of like, oh, I love this pattern. I love the blue. I love, um, it's minty, but it's not like super, you know, in your face minty. Um, and I, I love that solid, you know, the zipper pull, the coordinating color. I love the trim. Let me just see if I can open this up a bit and I'll put some things in here so you can kind of see. So this was $35 and that in my opinion is a really great price, um, especially because these totes um, for retail, they, they run $100 and that's kind of, I mean, that's pretty pricey. Um, and so it's nice if you wait for an online outlet sale, more than likely there, there are always totes that are available. Um, the pattern will vary, but it's, it's really, really kind of cool when you can find one that you've been kind of like, you know, eyeballing and then it shows up and you're like, Oh, a steal, like <laughs> almost, you know, 75, 80% off. And that's like awesome. Or I'm sorry, 65, 70% off. So this is cloud vine. And, you know, you've, I have, have a, a few other videos of where I talk about totes. And this just has a really pretty, you know, floral um, vines. Um, it's got blues. It's got, you know, mint greens um, or more of like neon greens in it. And then the coordinating trim. If you can see that, it's just really pretty. And then even like the interior of that is just, I mean... I like the interior of it. I always thought that the interior pattern was really cool. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but but I definitely wanted something in this pattern. And originally, I had I had actually bought a triple zip hipster in this pattern before, um, and I came to the realization that triple zip hipsters weren't really doing it for me. So. Um, I do like totes. I don't wear them all the time, but I do have uses for them and um, other styles of bags. Like small, the small beer tote, I actually ended up liking a lot more than the, well, I wouldn't say I like it more, but I use that more because that's like a, a good purse size. So this is the Cloud Vine Large um, Iconic, is it Iconic? Before I tell you that. Yeah, it's the Iconic Vera Tote in Cloud Vine. So I was excited about this. Um, I don't know if we'll see it in the next one because I kind of have a feeling that it popped up, but maybe it won't pop up again. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So that was my first piece from the second order. And then I have this triple compartment crossbody, um, the Performance Twill, and this is in Straw Flowers. And um, this is a great, a great piece, and this was a great price as well. This has three compartments. There's the first compartment. The first compartment is actually this, the middle compartment. And then the, it has a, um, you know, a key ring here that, an, like an attachment clasp for the strap that I'm just gonna, you can actually remove it all the way. So you've got it on this side as well. And then this clasp removes. So you can actually remove the whole strap if you'd like. And then you're left with this sort of piece. And this piece actually, what's cool about this, especially if you get like the medium triple compartment, um, it's a smaller, the medium is a smaller size. So you can actually remove the clasps, the strap, and then just stick this in your purse, like in a tote or something. Um, so I think that's actually a pretty neat idea. Or you can um, change out the straps with another strap, like from a different purse if you'd like. And the other two compartments are, there's one in the front, so there's this one here um, that goes around. So there's that compartment, and there is this compartment over here, um, which I think is, I actually really, really like this bag. I have one in the Seawater Blooms, and I love that bag. The only problem is if you fill up stuff, in any of these, ex, you know, the outside compartments, getting stuff into the middle compartment is going to be a little bit difficult because you can see, even as I open it, there's sort of this like, there's not a whole lot of space. There is, there is space, but you'd have to like kind of sacrifice putting stuff on um, in the in some of the exterior pockets, if that makes sense. So there is that magnetic closure here, which is nice, and then you do get like that front zipper pocket here as well. 
I really like these bags. I think it's a great everyday bag. Um, especially if you just want to like, if you're on the go and you just want to grab something and head out the door. Um, I think this is really cute and the pattern is actually really, just really adorable. Um, it has like these pink flowers. Um, they're, I guess they're straw flowers and, um, you know, they've got their stems and it's, the background is a tan beige color. And then you've got these green sort of, um, like dark green with white sort of coloring. It's, it has a very artistic, um, look to it. So I wouldn't know how to describe like the, the painting style of this specifically, but you can tell that there's like, you know, different colors. It has a lot of dimension. It's not just like one color for the flowers and, or the leaves or the, or the stems. And, um, I think it looks really beautiful on this, on this background, like on this tan background, which I think is really, really nice. So I was very pleasantly surprised when I saw that they had the triple compartment and I just was like, okay, I'll just grab that. Cause I know I like the style of bag. Um, but I haven't ever seen this pattern in person and so this would be a good time to check that out and the price of this one is This was $22 and I think this retails for And this retails for $90 and I got this for 22 so that's like right there is just a, a Great like a huge discount. So I was excited about that. I don't feel bad at all about getting this one and the my favorite part, surprisingly, is actually the interior of the bag. It is so beautiful. It's a white, like an off, it's like a cream. No, it's not a cream. It's kind of like a white, maybe like an off white, like a pearl. It's like a white pearl color and it has those flowers. Um, I'll take this out. It has those flowers on the interior and it's just, they're rendered so beautifully. So. Super excited about this one. Definitely happy that I bought this. So then I got um, these two factory style brush and pencil cases. So I got one in Charmont Meadow and then one in Penelope's Garden. Both were ten dollars. Um, and then originally, like if you go to the factory outlets, they'll be um, they they run for twenty nine, but they're never they're never full price if you go to that factory outlet. They're usually always like fifty percent off. Um, so that's like fifteen right there and then plus another like 20 or 30 percent off like your full order so i got these for ten dollars and i was just i had gotten this one because i i wanted to get some more things in penelope's garden and so i picked this one up i was really hoping i get i was really hoping i get a hedgehog on this but i didn't get a hedgehog on either the front or the bottom but um or the front and back but at the end of the day i still really like this print um, and I just I have like a lot of stuff laying around that I could use like these little cases for um, not necessarily like pens and pencils but um, you know just odds and ends like things that are lying around that you just need organization for um, doesn't hurt to have like some of these on hand and then Charmant Meadow which is one of my favorite factory outlet parent patterns of all time um, I have quite a few things in Charmont Meadow. I've got a large Glenna and other things, but um, I have this beautiful flower that's like right on the front. Um, and I even got bees on both the front and back. So that was kind of nice. So there's a little bee right there. And then there's a little bee right there. And I love that full flower that I get um, right here, you know. So this is, this is overall just such a cute print and I just try to test these out. Then I also got the pens. I got the Vera Bradley gel pens in the Enchanted Garden. Um, and I was actually running out of pens, so I picked these up. Um, and they're actually purple. So if you were thinking they were going to be black, um, they are not. Um, I thought they were going to be black, but I don't know why, because they're purple. But I don't know. I thought for some reason that this was just like a, you know, just a border. So these are actually purple. Um, and they're just, they're just you know, gel pens. And the color, now that it makes sense, it seems like the color is sort of indicated, um, the color sort of indicated at the tip and like, you know, by the cap. So those are the pens, they come in handy. Um, and I got those in Charmant Meadow. Then I also got um, the reactive, um, oh no, the lighten up pencil pouch in Marion Floral. 
And the reason I got this was because I don't have anything in Marion Floral. And so I was curious about it before I committed to like a larger purse or something like that. So I was like, let me try out this uh, lighten up material and case, um, this pencil pouch. And it's very, very pretty. So I'm very, um, quite pleasantly surprised by this. Um, and what's interesting about this is so that this pencil pouch, like compared to this one, you know, there is like a size difference. It is square. Um, you know, it looks completely different, but just to give you an idea of what they look side by side. Um, and it's double sided. So you've got a zipper that runs along um, the top here. And, you know, you've got your little pouch area here. And then. Ew. So you've got the zipper that runs along the top here, and then if I flip it over, you get another section. So this is really cool for those of you who like to carry pens and highlighters and, you know, pencils. Um, you can put, like, highlighters in one section, you can put pens and pencils on the other section, or you can carry, like, um, like stationary, you know, um, little little stationary items with you, like little post-its or something in one place. Um, and then, you know, your, this I actually really love. Um, so it's, it's a really, it's solid. Um, it's substantial. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. It actually feels like it's really good quality. So it, to me, it actually feels better quality than, um, than this, to be honest. But but I love the pattern of this, so I had to have, I had to have Penelope's Garden. Um, but the lighten up material is actually quite nice and substantial. So, um, and this could probably take a lot of damage, like in your book bag or backpack or purse or something. So excited about that. And I do, I actually really ended up liking this pattern too. So that's that. And then the last thing from this particular, uh, this particular order is the pill case in Kingston Gardens. So, I love Kingston Gardens. It was a Dillard's exclusive, and I didn't know about this. I, I got into Vera much later on in the game. So this was already gone by the time I discovered it. <laughs> but this is Kingston Gardens, and um, I don't have anything, I don't have a pill case, so this is my first one, actually. And it's really nice. Um, so, I know a lot of people, they don't use this pill case for their pills, but when you open it up, you do have a space for your ID. Or not maybe necessarily an ID, but you could put like your, you know, flip this around and maybe put your name on it or something. Yeah. So it does have an ID, like a little card where you can put like your name and then stick that in here. So Suzanne doesn't like take like Rachel's pills or something. I don't know. I know um, Kelly from Potato Peach, she uses this like for some of her medication and then she'll use, um, she'll put like essential oils in here. So you could even use this as like an essential oils uh, holder or use this just, you know, um, for other little knickknacks or something. Um, and it feels really nice and soft. It's, it's padded at the top, so it's, it's pretty soft at the top and then it's padded at the bottom. So it has kind of a nice feel and I'm actually really excited to, um, I do have like daily pills that I will need to take. So, um, I bought that for organization for that. And since it's Vera and I would see it, I'd be more likely to take them. So <laughs> like my vitamins, I'm slacking on those. So I need to put my vitamins in this. Um, and then that was the, that was it for my second order or my third order, I should say. Um, and the last and final order that I did was, so I had ordered two coin purses and then one was in um, Charmont Meadow, Charmont Meadow and then Enchanted Garden. Um, and these, I, I have regular, the signature style coin, excuse me, coin purses, but I didn't have the factory style coin purses. So I thought I'd try those out and they're actually really cute. Um, they have the differences is they have this, you know, second section right here, like this little slip section that you could put something in. Um, and then they've got, you know, this top section up here that, you know, just for your coins and stuff. And you don't have to use a coin purse just for coins. You know, you can use this for any time you need organization of something. Um, and then I'll show you the Charmont Meadow. And I did get a little B right there. Um, and then just, you know, some, some of that floral pattern. And I, I do love this flower here. Um, I like the pops of pink that come in there. So I thought that was 
cute. So I got those two, and they were, I think, $6 as well. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention my Zip ID in Penelope's Garden. That was in my last order, too. I was hoping, the reason I got this was because I was hoping I'd get a hedgehog on, on it by chance, some stroke of, you know, Vera, miracle, magic. But I didn't, um, so, but that's okay. I still get, I still have this, so. Um, and then I did get the um, Iconic Large Blush and Brush in Vines Floral, which thank goodness I did end up picking this one up because especially with that issue with my last one in my first order, um, this one at least came to me just fine. Um, and the pattern is Vines Floral and it is just so lovely. And so I wanted something in Vines Floral. I didn't have anything in it. And I thought I'd get this because I also do need... Um, I have, like I said, lots of makeup, so I, I'll use one like blush and brush case for um, my face, my face makeup and face brushes. And then the other one would be like for my eyeshadows and like eye brushes and stuff. Um, so I will go ahead and open this up, and you get this section here um, for your brushes. This is for your brushes here, and then this section is like. What I would use it for is like sponges and things like, like accessory products for makeup. Um, you could even put like lipsticks in here, for example. I'd probably use this for like lip liners or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to organize it. Um, and this is great for that. And it's great for travel too, in my opinion. And like this section here would be great for like, you know, filling it up with like eyeshadows and stuff. Um, I've got several palettes and... If I were traveling, I'd want to take like, you know, certain eyeshadow palettes with me. So, um, and it's such a beautiful print. It's just so nice and lovely. The interior, I'm not like the interior print. I'm not crazy about, I don't know what it's called, but I mainly got it just for the exterior, for the exterior pattern and for the functionality of it. So I thought that was really cool. And the last item that I have is the small Vera toe in Kingston gardens. This is the item that I absolutely, once I saw it pop up, um, it was actually probably a day after the online outlet sale went live that I said I absolutely needed to have this. Um, I didn't think twice about it. I just hit, you know, purchase and got one other thing and that was it. That was game over for me. <laughs> so I was really excited about this. Here is the interior of it. I had been looking for this for months. Um, like on third-party websites and Dillard's and they didn't they were out of stock at Dillard's so they didn't have any more of this um, And I think it's a bit old now too. maybe an older pattern I'm not sure what year this was released, but that is the back and this is the Kingston Garden small Vera tote iconic small Vera tote and I was so happy about this once I finally got it and there it is um, small beer totes are my most often used bags. Um, I take them out, like I can actually fit quite a bit in here. Um, you know, and I use this just as a regular purse, you know, out the door and ready to go. And that is it. That was the last item from my part one. And then my part two is just going to be my last order, but I do have quite a few things in there. So I figured I'd kind of space them out a little bit. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.